On this installment of Retro Tech Time, we are looking at the setup and use of Nitrous 9 for the Tandy Color Computer. Welcome to the Retro Tech Time channel. I'm your host Terry Stege aka Data Soup. In this video we're going to look at setting up and using the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use Edition for the Tandy Color Computer and the VCC Emulator. The first thing we're going to do is download the VCC Color Computer Emulator. This link to Bill Pierce's GitHub site will be made available in the description down below. I normally download the setup.exe for VCC and place it in a COCO folder that I put in my My Documents directory. I'm sure there are newer versions of both Nitrous 9 and VCC available. Um, at this time, this is the one I had available to me, so that's what I'm going to run with. Next, we'll download the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use Edition. The Ease of Use project has been written and curated by L. Curtis Boyle and Bill Noble. They have actively maintained different versions of the Ease of Use project for various processors, the 6809, the 6309, and now they're also supporting the new Gimme X chip by Ed Snyder. After our downloads complete, we're going to install VCC on this computer. Depending on your security settings, you might have to run the More Info option and just select Run anyway. This should allow you to then administratively allow the process to install. Now for backup reasons, I like to install anything COCO in my COCO files directory, so I'm just going to move the install location to that directory here. Additionally, I run multiple instances of VCC, so I don't have to configure it each time, so we'll make this one our OS 9 installed version. Once that's completed, we're going to extract the Ease of Use OS 9 into that same folder. And we'll clean up some of these other ones. So these two uh, notes and documentation are well worth reading. You will need to know where this location is because the DSK file is pretty much what we're going to use to connect VCC to that disk. I like to mirror my VCC to the type of hardware I use in real life. So I do have a uh, 6309 CPU Hitachi as well as 8 meg in my Coco 3. I prefer my VCC installs to use the natural OS 9 keyboard mapping. In addition, we need to add a cartridge that says we are using the multi-pack interface. So we need to load that DLL as a cart, which is in the VCC directory by default after you've installed it. We'll just use the MPI DLL. Now if we look under our cartridges, we have four MPI slots. The default slot we're going to select is 4, and we'll OK past that. 
Next, we need to load something in cartridge for, or slot for, excuse me. So we're gonna go ahead and put the floppy disk controller in that slot. And then in slot three, we're going to put the hard disk controller. And that's just the hard disk, hard disk DLL. Next, we need to populate both of those disks with files. Um, the drive zero is going to have the ease of use DSK file that we extracted in the main directory. And then the hard drive zero is going to have a virtual hard disk that is found in that same directory. Next, we're going to do a hard reset and have the system boot up with those configuration options that we chose. Next, we will type in the DOS command, which will initialize OS 9 and allow it to boot. I do recommend entering the time and date every time you boot up in case you save files. Um, it's kind of nice to have those written to it at the time, but you don't have to, you can just hit enter past this. When you get to this terminal prompt, all you need to do is type G shell, enter, and that will allow you to get the graphical user interface. And there you go, we have a fully functioning Nitrous 9 install on this VCC emulator. Curtis and Bill have been constantly updating, tweaking, and uh, cleaning up the operating system um, quite regularly. I, I would check back quite often to get newer versions as they come out. Um, a lot of times you get additional games and, and applications that weren't converted for the older versions, but uh, it, it's pretty handy. Um, you can do this on physical hardware. Uh, there's really two ways. If you have a hard drive and a floppy drive or just floppy drives, you can install it that way as well. Um, I will do another video on how to use a Coco SDC with your hardware um, that basically will just boot up um, from an SD card and really saves a lot of time and effort as well as cost. These vintage hard drives and floppy drives can be quite expensive to find if you can find them. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this Nitrous 9 setup and use guide. As always, thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment about this episode or what you would like to see covered in future episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified when future videos are uploaded. Thanks again.